Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fades Wildlands. In today's video, we are entering the enchanting wilderness of Michigan Cabot Peninsula. And we are going to be seeing some of the absolute beauty and untamed wonder. The leaves and their fiery hues of orange and gold as we celebrate this, this beautiful mosaic of nature. We're out on the water looking for brook trout. But really, it's more about the serenity of just fishing in these pristine waters. In a world with constant motion and noise and nonsense, the Upper Peninsula offers a sanctuary of stillness where time slows down when the soul finds solace in the melody of flowing water and the symphony of rustling leaves. These simple <laughs> moments she goes. are some of the most profound. Got a fish. Amidst this tapestry of yellow, orange, red, and even a bit of green, we seek the elusive native brook trout. Not stopped. Truly native. These fish in the fall match the foliage that you see in the trees. Today we're paddling through the wilderness and the untamed outdoors. And I hope you love this video as much as I loved filming it. Brook trout, fall colors, and the beauty and solace that is the UP. Thanks for joining me today. I thought that was one of the biggest brook trout of my life, but it turned out to be a nice small one. Jeez. Well, that was unexpected. Let's go catch some trout. <laughs> mm. So it's 7.30. Took me two hours to get here this morning. Woke up at 5.30. We got about a couple of days until the end of trout opener trout opener it's a weird way to put it trout closer trout season closes in just a few days and we're seeing if we can catch one trout today one trout would probably make it a success one trout i hope you guys are uh looking forward to this day because i am too Water is extremely low. So we'll see what happens. I might have to drag a lot today. All right. <clears throat> well, it is gonna be a good day today, guys. Um, whew. So we are in the kayak, uh, as you can see right here. It's kayak time, some ducks that just flew over there. Um, I have not been in the kayak. It seems like I haven't been in the kayak all summer. 
Um, but we are back at it. We're going to see if we can find some fishy friends. And that autofocus is doing all sorts of weird things, but we're just going to ignore it for now. Um, water temps this morning, 56 degrees. <clears throat> uh, chilly, but that's good for trout, so we're good there. It's going to be somewhat cloudy today, a bit of sun early on, not too much wind. The water levels are crazy low. Uh, I'm fishing a very remote river, and uh, this morning, it was kind of funny, ran into five trucks at the put-in spot, and they all had like 20 dogs with them, and they were... Um, bear baiting so they were putting out bait and running dogs to get bears um which is kind of interesting a lot of people don't realize that you can do that in michigan um but indeed you can um so this morning there were there were a ton of people i was the only one getting on the water um oh i just saw some minnows i don't know if you can you probably can't see Probably too much glare. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh! Focus on me, please. All right, I'm back. That was weird. Autofocus was having all sorts of issues. Um, the water looks good right now. Uh, water looks to be in a couple, two feet of water, two, three feet of water. Throw a little spinner. Um, I don't really think I'm gonna catch any fish today, but. Uh, we're going to try anyways. We're just going to have a good time. I mean, really, I'm out here because it's my birthday, and uh, this is my birthday present to myself. A day on the water, nobody else. Check out these trees right here. See how beautiful that tree is right there? There you go. Now you can see it in all its glory. Anyways. Oh. I know I'm kind of ADD this morning with the camera, but uh, I am going to take some casts and catch some fish and see what happens. Let's get going. Almost broke my rod, that would have, have been pretty stupid. Yeah, that would have been pretty stupid. Huh. I thought this would be deep enough to hold fish, but it is not. That's okay though. It's worth exploring. Worst part about going into spots like that is all that nasty mud. Hardcore nasty mud. Huh. 
All right. Let's catch fish. That's a fish. That's a fish right there. That's a creek chub. Oh. Well, we caught a fish today. We caught a fish today. We caught a fish today. We're making a video. We're making a freaking video, baby. Creek chop. <laughs> Lots of mosquito bites and a creek chop. Almost. Almost got him. Man, that's pretty. Oh boy. Wow, that's pretty down through there. Crazy beautiful. Now all we need to do is get a brook trout. So this is the first gilkin spot that I found today. So I'm gonna stop here for a moment, take a couple casts and hopefully hook into something. Not quite sure how deep it is. I'm hoping there's a couple feet of depth over there. Oh, there we go. That's a brookie. Got one. One fish. I wanted one fish and we made it happen. Wow. Look at the colors. Look at the colors on that fish. Wow. <laughs> there she goes. Got a fish. Got a fish. Oh. So, got that fish. Right here, this is a MEPS. Single hook MEPS. All white thunderbug. So glad I got one, baby. Nice. At this point, I might just go home. <laughs> yeah, boy.
Oh. Brookie jumped completely out of the water right there. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Gosh, that's a pretty fish. Wow, that's a pretty fish. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a smallmouth. What the heck is a smallmouth doing in here? What the heck is a smallmouth doing in here? It's a big smallie too. What the heck? We are not going for smallmouth today. We're going for bass. I thought that was a freaking giant brook trout. Wow. I thought that was a mondo. That was totally unexpected, guys. I, uh... <laughs> Literally just caught two brook trout like five minutes ago. Come down, and I thought that was a huge brookie. Head shakes and everything, and then it was a nice smallie. But uh, we're up to three brookies, one smallie, one creek chub. I'm having an absolute banger of a birthday. Uh, we're going to make a video out of this, guys. So, uh, <laughs> I am just blown away. Uh... Some days fishing's awesome, and today is one of those days. So uh, let's go maybe get some more. Um, by the way, I'd never switched off that uh, Thunderbug. I know earlier I told you guys I was going to switch off that MEPS Thunderbug, but uh, i got to be honest, I didn't do it. I just kept slinging, and so far everything has come on that thing. So maybe, maybe that means I should just sling it all day, which I probably will. All right, uh, let's go get some more. Maybe a walleye, maybe a pike, maybe a brown trout. I'll take anything. All right, nice. So the reason I, I guess that I found three smallmouth right here is that potentially they're somewhat blocked and trapped by this beaver dam. Low water plus this beaver dam has got these smallmouth kind of stuck in here and they, I, I guess they have not figured out a way to get past this, this, this dam. Um, that's the only thing that can make any sense because they shouldn't, they shouldn't be in here right now. I don't think. Kind of surprised I didn't catch them, get a bite right here, honestly. Wow, this is an extensive beaver dam.
Yeah, no wonder the smallmouth are trapped. Well, that was super cool. I've never seen bucks fighting, well, I don't know, jousting, I don't know, the, I don't know what that's called. That was super cool. Ooh, I think the day is pretty much over, guys. We've caught three brook trout, one smallmouth, one creek chub. I think I've had two other smallmouth bites. I think maybe I had a couple other brook trout bites. I'm not entirely sure. I've had like a billion creek chubs bite though, which was, uh, I don't know if that's cool or not, but uh, I haven't had any fish since before lunch. It's been hours. All the fish today came in the upper stretches. This lower stretches has not had anything. Um, which is kind of weird. I think, I mean, I think that's kind of weird. I haven't, I don't, you know, I don't fish this very frequently. So I think the second time I fish this. So um, I guess I can't really say that's weird because uh, I just don't know. But uh, I've had a lot of fun today. Happy birthday to myself with a fun day on the water. I just wanted to catch one brook trout today. That was my goal. And once I caught one brookie, um, after that, I just kind of. You know, whatever happened, happened. And I just saw two bucks, you know, <laughs> jousting in the middle of the river. It's been a pretty good day. Uh, if I catch any more fish from here to the end, you guys will see them. But if not, I think we're going to call it a day on that right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that map's uh, Thunderbug. She really uh, she did it for me today. Alright guys, let's get rolling.